Aloha, again, thank you for joining us. Um, we are going to continue our conversation about the Rural Residency Program from a little bit of a different perspective. Uh, we have uh, guests with us now uh, to explain the community-based uh, effort to get this program going. Again, I'm joined by Senator Takamine, uh, and also we are joined by uh, Lori Rogers, who is the Executive Director for the Hilo Medical Center Foundation. Also joining us is June Kunimoto, who is a trustee for the uh, Hilo Medical Center Foundation and former district health officer for the Department of Health on the Big Island. And we're very pleased to have with us today uh, Bob Lindsay, who is the uh, Office of Hawaiian Affairs trustee uh, from the Big Island. And so we wanted to begin this conversation really by pointing out uh, the strong support that this program is receiving from the community. And Dwight, maybe you can help. Explain sure. that part. And I think, you know, we heard earlier how the Big Island generally has a reputation of pulling together, yeah, whenever there's a special need. And I think the foundation, you know, has played a critical role in trying to address the current circumstances uh, facing the community, uh, the Big Island community. Uh, and Laurie, I, I thought maybe um, if you could help introduce the foundation and maybe some of the aspects before we really get into some of the details of what you're actually doing, you know, to, to help all of the people. Okay, thank you. The, the Hilo Medical Center Foundation is a nonprofit uh, entity, and what our mission statement, what we're about is we're there to serve the community and the hospital uh, on health care issues. Uh, the foundation is ran uh, by a board of 29 individuals from the Big Island, wonderful, committed people who all volunteer their time. Uh, and the foundation has been responsible for two very large projects there on the Big Island. Uh, we're there for the community. Uh, so what we did with the, f the foundation renovated the emergency department. So the Hilo Medical Center Hospital has a nice new emergency department. The community wanted it. It got remodeled. It was work involved, but it got remodeled. And then the foundation was also uh, responsible of course, uh, with from the community aspect for the state veterans home. You know, the residency program, uh, you know, to be fully implemented in a meaningful way, funding is at you know the heart of that is part of that, but uh, part of the challenge. And you know, it, um, you just noted the effort, the success that was created on the Big Island with respect to the emergency room, uh, you know, funding, and that you know you had the community mm -hmm. play a substantial role, uh, working hand in hand with the government to provide the necessary resources uh, to make that happen. And now mm -hmm. it's serving you know, the needs you know, of the broader community. And uh, June, I know, I know you played a critical role in that. Uh, and could, could you touch upon that and what you see as bringing the, the success that occurred there? I think the Big Island is very, very unique in people working well together. Whenever there's a situation that needs to be addressed, it seems like agencies and individuals come together for a common good. An example of the emergency department at Hilo Medical Center was a prime example. What the hospital did is they um, did a focus group in the community and said, what is the most critical area that we need to look at? And unanimously, they said the emergency room is a horrible situation. The wait time, I mean, there were a whole bunch of people who just gave testimony on how bad it was. Based on that focus group meetings that we've had, the foundation took it as a first priority for the foundation to see what we could do to renovate the emergency department so that it becomes the first entree into the medical center and people feel good about the hospital. And together with the legislators and with the community, we were able to um, gather the community and the community, and everybody knows that East Hawaii is a very poor, poor community. We have the highest rate of people who are below the poverty line in income. And that community was able to raise over $1 million. We needed to do that in order to um, get funds from, for the governor to release the funds that the legislators had already appropriated so that we could begin our uh, renovation. And we're happy to say that today, um, earlier part of this year, we had our open house and we have nothing but really um, positive feedback from the community itself. They're no longer waiting out in the rain, you know, because the waiting room is too small. They have a very comfortable place that they can sit in. 
we have enough emergency room beds and I must compliment not only the community, the legislators and the governor, but also the staff at Gila Medical Center to have withstood the years of going through that renovation. And I think that shows a kind of commitment and the working together with all entities to get this going. And it's the same thing with the VA home. It wasn't as big a project, but with, with the help of the community and with the foundation, we were able to get that going together with um, Senator Inouye. Right. You know, that, that is such a key component. And for the first time in the state of Hawaii, we have a VA home located, luckily, in Hilo, Hawaii. But <laughs> I think right. that really shows the kind of um, commitment that the people have on our island in making sure that we all work together for a common good. And I think that is such a big blessing that we have on our island. Mm -hmm. Yes, you yeah, feel I, that on the big island yeah. for sure. I, I just wanted to uh, take off from um, you know some of the remarks that June just made about folks on our island mm -hmm. working together, working well together, yes. working together for the common good. Mm -hmm. And as OHA's representative here, I, I hope in time that we'll be able to link up the folks from our Native Hawaiian health systems with all of you and, and somehow participate in all of the good work that you're doing for the people of our island. Uh, I'm talking in particular about Papa Ola Lokahi, mm -hmm. who is the umbrella organization for Hawaiian health here in the state of Hawaii. But in particular, uh, Michelle Tuber and the folks at um, Hui Malama yeah. uh, in Hilo who service folks all, of, all across our island. You know, I think that actually that uh, Hui Malama office is located in the same building where the rural residency campus, quote unquote. Oh, okay, it's right there on uh, so Railroad yeah. Avenue? Right. No, no, yes. it's oh. right there, the uh, Mahooli no. building. Yeah. Oh, Malama okay. Medical yeah. area. Yes. They're uh -huh. right in that same yeah. building. Oh, okay. Right. So, so be a, wonderful. Be a real good, oh, yes. close working yeah. relationship. We're neighbors already. Right. So yes. yeah. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stage, the table set. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I, I think you're right. You know, the, the, the partnerships that we can establish to bring these projects to realization, I, I think, is so key. and. And I know that the rural residency program now is a, a, a tremendous focus for the foundation. So can you help us understand you know, what, what's going on? And Sure. Okay. Uh, the, the foundation, we wrapped up the renovation of the emergency department. At our January board meeting, the board discussed what are we going to support and really grab onto now. And the residency program, it's there. So the, the complete board voted, this is what we're putting all of our efforts to, this residency program. As Josh Green stated, the monies weren't released. Uh, prior to that, the foundation started a petition out in the community to try to get our voice heard. That's Please, right. release those funds. It's very important, release the funds. In uh, eight weeks, we gathered over 6,000 signatures and heard one story after the other story so from people who live on the yeah. big island and they're not good stories who have issues not finding a doctor I can't get this I can't get that I have to go to the emergency room to see a doctor so we gathered the signatures uh, the money wasn't released we had our board meeting the foundation decided we're still gonna stick with this we need this for the big island we, we can't let this die because good economic times or bad economic times, health care doesn't go away. We all need good health care. So uh, we're out fundraising and we're trying to collaborate with other groups, get support. And as you said, on the Big Island, we all come together for this. And to date, out in the community, uh, and this is people, as you said, June, mm -hmm. who don't have a lot of money. They're writing checks to support this. We have $18,700 not a lot but we're going to get 